Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, I was always raised that you should help people. That strangers, while sometimes you're going to have bad actors who only want to take or are going to lie to you, most of the time people are going to be good. That they're just trying to get home from point A to point B. And you should try and help people. Now, a lot of us weren't raised that way. And this can lead to senseless tragedies that sometimes make their way through the news cycle. And recently one has hit my feed that I think is uniquely tragic. Uh, if you don't recognize the face that was in the thumbnail, his name is Ralph Yarl. He's a 16-year-old who lives in Kansas City, Missouri. And he was recently assaulted while lost trying to find his brother. The story reads that he was walking to pick his brother up from a friend's house and he was on the wrong street. His phone was dead so he couldn't look at a GPS and he walked to the house that he thought was the correct one. And we don't know if he knocked on the door or if he rang the doorbell, but what we do know is that the homeowner, this uh, Mr. Andrew Lester, 84 year old man, shot him through the door, through the glass windows, and then shot him again outside for approaching the wrong house. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, well, he might have had a no trespassing sign up, so that means he's legally justified in doing that. And to that I say, if someone's legally justified in shooting an unannounced guest because of a sign, you know, that might be that state's legal right, but I don't think you're morally in the right for doing something like that. I think that that is senseless for someone to do something like that. And those laws should be changed. And it seems like the initial arresting officers took him at that. They, they said that he was legally in the right because this Mr. Lester was only held for 24 hours and then he was released. Now, according to recent updates in the story, he's been charged. He's being charged for, I think it was a... Some sort of homicide charge, but it's not a hate crime that he's being charged with, which personally, I think that's a good idea to not charge him for a hate crime because hate is a hard thing to prove and you don't want to run the risk of not bringing him to justice for attempting to murder a stranger, you know? Now, do I personally think that hate was a motive? Sort of. But not in the sense that this is just someone who wants to, you know, kill minorities or something like that. This is probably a guy who, for the past 15, 20 years, maybe more, has been feeding a, well, consuming uh, right-wing news narratives. You know, all these stories about crime and violence in inner cities and, you know, you gotta protect yourself, you gotta get your gun. Good guy with the gun stops the bad guy with the gun. And... They get so paranoid about everything bad that could happen that the moment a stranger approaches them, lost and in genuine need of help, they immediately go into a crisis mode that, you know, this is someone who's coming to attack me, to take from me, so I have to fight back. And again, according to police as well, Ralph Yarl didn't even cross the threshold of this man's house. He knocked on his door or rang the doorbell. He didn't get inside. He was asking for help. And he was shot for it. So, I don't think that the homeowner should be charged with a hate crime, but I do think he should be charged with attempting to murder someone. Because there's no way I think you can get around that. That if you shoot somebody, that's trying to kill them. So, yeah. God bless, though. You know, Ralph's doing fine. He made it out of the hospital. There's a GoFundMe that his family set up to pay for expenses and legal fees and stuff like that. I'll link that below. They're probably going to make plenty of money, though. Like, you don't really need to donate unless you want to. There's lots of people out there who need assistance with stuff like that, but they set one up, so I'll link it in case you want to look at it. But, you know, as bad as it sounds, I guess until the next time something like this happens in the United States... Y'all try to have a good day.